What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. We are digging in on the rest of the Bronco already. What you saw here was fixing a crack that came in shipping. This one was cracked and another one was cracked. The other one got fully replaced, but this one we had to come in here and fix. We glued it together with a composite bond from 3M and then um, standard body work on top of that. So now everything's smooth, straight, Sanded it down with 80 grit, put a fiberglass filler over it because this is fiberglass, topped it with a lighter weight body filler, and now this is ready to prime. We're going to prime this section and it'll give us the opportunity to get this all sanded and completely shaped um, after we put like a nice heavy primer um, on this half. Right now we got the whole thing sanded down to 180 grit. In a second we'll go and mix up the primer and uh, we'll get this this section sprayed. After we get the primer on that, I think we're gonna do that first because I don't think any of these need any kind of primer or anything. That could dry at the same time and then everything gets sealed at the same time. But um, these just need sanded down, ready for the sealer. And then I think we're also gonna do the doors too in this batch. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about doing the doors in this batch. We're gonna try and make that work. A couple harnesses to take out of that. Everything should be pretty simple. Other than that, let's go get that rear quarter in the booth, but we'll also get working on prepping everything else to go in there too. So we got all the other fenders sanded and worked any place there needed any body filler. Uh, we threw that in there. There's a little bit of a dip here. Over here there was a, just a slight chip. We got that all filled and sanded. Up here there was a little dip too. That's all good now as well. This was the other piece that was slightly damaged but we fit, you know, I think we got that all fixed up now. And then here is the rear quarter we did all the body work to and primed yesterday. Well now here we are. Let it sit overnight. It's dried. Now all we got to do before we can get sealer on this is we are going to sand this again. This primer surfacer that's the whole purpose of it. We can sand this primer down and sculpt it. Get rid of any of the uh, you know other sanding marks or anything visible that we can see any little pinholes that needed filled you can sand everything out and it'll just blend right into this sand the whole thing to 400 and then we can get this thing sealed Okay, so we just broke down the door, kind of sanded the back a little bit. We still need to scuff, hand sand some areas, but 
Honestly, just in here, they're just plastic plugs. The harness kind of tucks in there, and then over here, you just kind of pinch the thing from the inside, and the whole harness pops out. Super, super simple. The reason why I want you to look at this right now is this section right here in the door. So when you look at the door panel, this little cutout here shows the body color right here. I assume, I mean, if you had a different, I mean, if you just had a Bronco in general, you could take your door panel off and lay some like vinyl there. You could change the color of that to anything you want. Honestly, fact of the matter is I want it to be purple to match the um, body, but I want it to look good. I just wanted to, you know, point this section of it out, I guess on the inside of the door, because this is actually a very important piece and you want this especially to look as good as possible. Another pro tip, don't touch fiberglass fenders and all the dust and then touch your eye. Um, yeah, it woke up burning, so um, don't do that. We're gonna hand sand the rest of this, get all the door jams, get everything all um, scuffed that's shiny. All that needs to go, flip it over, sand it flat, and then uh, we can load this one in here and then we'll do the same to the driver door and uh, we'll be ready to spray these. supposed to be non-sanding sealer so it doesn't sand easy any little nibs or anything I want to take them out because then anything above that will be as flat as possible so took everything out and uh, we're ready to top coat we're gonna mix up some purple go with again two matching coats just like the rest of the Bronco two coats all uh, you know we'll do a little dust coat to get the pearls all oriented and stuff but uh, two coats of the purple and then I think I'm gonna aim for five coats of clear. I'm excited. Let's get to it.
Guys, let me say first of all, these panels look, they look crazy. Like, look at that. Absolutely incredible. We stopped at Four Coats, um, unfortunately, because we had a little friend it, um, mess up our day here. I don't even know how it got in here, but look at that mosquito. I think he snuck in here when the door was open and then he landed in there, so the thing is gonna need um, wet sand in any way to get that thing out, get, get his legs off of there, so we're gonna just wet sand them and flow coat them. The way these look right now, they obviously they do have four coats of clear on them, and they're crazy. Not gonna lie, these panels, like they even there's barely any orange peel on them. There's a couple little things of dirt here and there, but that's standard. But they look pretty crazy. And obviously, you guys can see that that the way it, it flips and flops and does what it does. That's exactly um, what I was looking for on this body kit here. Um, that purple, I knew it was gonna flip so hard off of this. <laughs> there it is, oh my gosh. I knew it was gonna flip so hard off of each of the little body lines and even tucked over here, black, black, but it's purple and it's purple and it's black. Oh, this is gonna look crazy on the Bronco. Um, here's the, just look at that. Just look at it. Yeah, would you just look at it? I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen the comments, but I'm just amazed at how good this color looks. And especially off of this, this body kit from Advanced Fiberglass Concepts is going to be bananas in the sun or under gas station lighting. It's just gonna be crazy. Absolutely crazy. You can see how big of a mirror this kind of is already, but once we actually sand this down and flow coat it, it's gonna be so flat. Um, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's literally gonna, oh. It is a ton of work. It is a ton of work to sand all these back down and re-clear them, but it's gonna be worth it because these already look incredible. So seeing it completely flat and then re-cleared, bringing that depth out, um, I, don't, I, I don't think I'm gonna know what to do. And the rear quarter panels look stunning also. Oh my gosh. Just the, literally, look at that. It's gonna hit so hard in the sun. I am so excited. That's my favorite part. Like, look at that. Look at that reflection. And the back of the door where the uh, door panel is going to show looks incredible. That's going to look fantastic inside. Um, I can't wait to see that. Oh, that looks so good. Even all these turned out pretty, pretty good. Even over here, nothing to complain about. Oh, it looks just stellar. And I guess this is a perfect representation. Do you see that light right there? Do you see these lights? You may be thinking I'm crazy, but can you see how it's not like a perfect reflection and it's got a little bit of a, you know, jump to it? Well, that's what the flow coat's gonna do. Is it gonna bring that to like a perfect mirror and you can just see that light um, as that light. Perfectly flat, perfect reflection. Um, these are gonna look absolutely nuts. They're gonna look nuts here. So yeah, guys, hopefully you're excited to get these things on as am I, but obviously, for the look we're going, wow, those look so good. They just, ah, I keep, I keep staring. We're gonna let these cure up. We're gonna get these things flow coated and um, then we'll get these things thrown on. The Bronco is gonna look completely, um, completely insane. This is gonna be crazy. I'm so excited to put these on. Oh, wow, 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 wow. These are the moments where I'm like, I wish I didn't have to flow coat them, but it's, I know it's worth it, it'll be worth it, the results are worth it. Uh, I'm just a little excited, so. If you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Drop me a comment if you haven't already. Take care, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, the Bronco's gonna look amazing.